Video Ninja might be the most frustrating audio experience I've had recently, but I think I figured out a solution to your echo or audio problems with video to voice meter to OBS. Let's talk about it. All right, so Video Ninja, what I found is there's a lot of problems with a microphone echo and just issues with bringing in users that use Video Ninja into OBS. Users are having problems with that, so I'm going to try to go through how I figured out how to fix it. So what Video Ninja is, is essentially your online version of Teams or Zoom, etc. It just makes it easier to share a link, and I'll show you just how to do that really quickly. So you'll go into this website, video.ninja, create a room, and for this example, we'll just do a test. Um, leave these boxes unchecked, because what this will do is just bring in the director with the group scene, and you don't want to do that because that's part of the issue. So we're just going to leave it blank and just hit create. What this is going to do is just essentially give you an invite link so you can invite guests and they're going to either go on their phone, iPad, computer, whatever they have available and use that built in camera and microphone. And then you could capture this either as a group or as an individual. We're going to put this in OBS. All right, so we're going to run through that real quick. You can customize these group scenes to add an add additional things. Uh, the only thing I would add is just this pro audio. It kind of enhances the auto a little bit from what I found. But if you do select any of these, the link is going to change here. So just keep that in mind. All right, so I'm going to bring in my test from my iPhone here in a little bit. But what you want to do first is ensure you're all set up as a director. So when we're using voice meter, you kind of want to use those exact same defaults that we set up initially. And if you haven't watched the setup for voice meter banana or voice meter, any voice meter you're using, I'll link that below and just put it on the top right corner. So you can watch that before you get into this. Uh, but if not, you could run through this pretty easily as well. You enable this director. You're going to see that I'm available for a preview down here. So we'll just pop this out and you can see me right down there. See what you look like. Uh, obviously, I'm not using my green screen. I'm not recording in OBS. All right, so what you're going to do is select your video source. So I'm using the my USB video that I have set up. Now, the audio source going out is going to be that same B2, which I've set up here as my individual mic. Now, if you're using B1 uh, and you're including like some audio, for whatever reason, you can do that. But I always just like to separate it. So B2 is what I'm using. And then we're going to use this cable input as an output destination for all the people that are talking to for you to hear. And it's the same concept as the way we use Discord in my video. So that's this video will be the cable output. We just do a test real quick and you can see the audio is going to come through here. All right. So once you have that set up, just close this out. And then I'm going to bring in my iPhone as a guest example. All right, so once you bring your audio in here, now if you're not using voice meter, it's going to be pretty easy just to hear your guest. But on the default, it's not going to come through this video output. It's just confusing. But what we'll do is set it up in OBS so you can see how it actually functions while it's in OBS. Okay, so we're going to do that. So while you're, when you're setting up an OBS, you got to make sure you se separate the director from your guest. So in order to do that, so you can copy this director link and come over here. Uh, I already have a browser source in here, so I'll just update it to that link. Hit OK. And there I am with all the blurriness for whatever reason. It's fine. And then all your guests uh, are going to maintain this other link that, that you have up there. Okay. So when you're adding, oh, let me go back here. So when you're adding yourself, keep in mind that 
you want to be able to control uh, the audio for yourself in OBS. And the reason for that is because you're already using voice meter as a microphone source. You don't want video to send signal back to voice meter because you're already using that. It's hard to explain but for some reason when I didn't click this as a director, it took the audio back to voice meter and then just created this back and forth echo, which was really annoying. So separate your director, use control via OBS, and then just bring that all the way down, bring the audio source all the way down because you're already gonna use that microphone anyway. So click there. Now for the users, you do not want to control it via, via OBS because you do want that to go into voice meter. Hence the whole reason why we're using voice meter. If you didn't use the voice meter, then everything would just be controlled to OBS and you'd be fine. But the reason for voice meter is because you want to add all the extra audio sources in there, etc. So click OK there. OK, so once you have both sources in here set up that way, what you're gonna have to do is go back to your audio settings, switch one of the browser sources to cable output. Reason for that is because if we, I'm just gonna show you an example of mic check. Mic check. Mic check. For some reason, when it defaults like that, um, it, everything comes through the voice meter input, which is a little weird. The way we can fix that is go to settings here, volume mixer, and you're going to see this OBS browser page. And that's the one page that we don't have going into OBS, but we do have uh, coming to voice meter. So you got to make sure you switch this default to cable input. So now I'm going to do a test again. Mic check. Mic check. I know it's a little low, you can kind of fix this. Uh, you mute myself there. And you can adjust this audio as needed too. So what I did too is if you turn on and off this, uh, we'll do another mic check. Check. Yeah. 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 So that's really loud for some reason. And this creates kind of an echo as well. So I just turn off that echo cancellation and it kind of brings the volume down. Yeah, you can adjust their volume if you need to. So again, what's that? What that's doing is sending that browser source into voice meter and then you have everything set up in OBS. You have everything set up in OBS to where all the B1 sources go out here and boom, you're, you should be all good to go. Now, I know that's a lot of work just to get this done, but it's, it's kind of the best example. It's kind of the best way that I've figured out how to keep the sources separated. All right, so hopefully that helped you out as much as it can help you out in terms of using video. I don't really use it, but I know a lot of you do. And hopefully it's a solution to your problems that you're having with echo and you know audio going back and forth and stuff like that. That was my biggest gripe about it is I don't know why there was echo coming back to voice meter and then back to OBS and whatever. It was, it was confusing. I came up with a solution that worked for the most part, and I think it'll be fine. But if you guys have any other solutions that I may not know about, let me know, and I can do an update to this. Or if you have some additional questions and some additional tweaking, uh, hop in my Discord. I'll try my best to help. Make sure you like the video so that other people can see it if they're having some similar issues. And again, give me some other ideas on other things that can help you. Maybe there's stuff out there that I may not know about, like this video ninja, which is which is actually really cool. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.